Butte, Montana, a community of 33,000 people with a water source so pristine it was granted a filtration waiver from the Department of Environmental Quality until the mid-2000s when a tiny bug caused a huge problem. From around 2004, 2005, uh, there was a pine bark beetle infestation that really devastated the, the forests, you know, from Montana all the way up to, to Canada. And what it, these, these pine beetles basically killed all the trees in the forest. Where's that organic matter go? It eventually uh, falls into our impoundment, our, our reservoir. When our, the carbons went up, our DBPs went up. In August of 2010, the Department of Environmental Quality uh, issued a violation notice to Bill Silver Bull. We exceeded the MCL for a certain type of disinfection byproduct, so we wanted a plant that was going to create finished water with very little DBP formation potential to control disinfection byproducts. With this new plant, we wanted to accomplish the, uh, the use of gravity for the driving power to run the filtration plant. And um, we had the opportunity to do that because of the elevation difference between the reservoir and the distribution system. The ceramic membrane offering had some advantages when it comes to the pressure ratings. Uh, they have a little higher pressure rating and allowed us to better capitalize on the gravity power. Went to several uh, manufacturers and finally went with uh, Aqua Aerobic because they have a very good product, especially the ceramic membrane. And we could have up to 75 PSI on the raw water side of the membrane, so that allowed us to maximize the gravity flow through this plant which was a huge advantage from a power savings point of view. You know, it's a very inexpensive plant to operate. The reservoir pushes water right through the membrane to town and when people are sprinkling and want more water, it delivers. It's the first ceramic membrane, gravity powered, on-demand plant in the country. We've been really pleased with, with how well the system works and how, you know, how, uh, how efficient it is. Since we're so far out here in the mountains, we didn't have an opportunity to dispose of the backwash waste. And what we decided to do was install a recovery membrane and treat the backwash that comes off the main membrane skids. When we wash a filter, it's uh, recirculated back into our other membranes, reuse that water. Very little water is, is, is wasted. And what that allowed us to get up to was an overall plant recovery of about 99.95%, meaning we're only wasting about one half of a percent of water to the uh, sanitary sewer. That's the heart of the plant here are these 400 ceramic membrane modules. Um, they have a nominal pore size of 0.1 micron, so they remove down to a very small particle. The membrane provides a positive barrier to pathogens, which allowed us to get a higher disinfection credit. They don't need to dose as much chlorine, and that also results in uh, better performance for disinfection byproducts. Another big advantage of this membrane, most membranes need to be washed or cleaned with a full chemical clean every 30 days. We're just now doing them this week after a year. The performance is good, the water quality is good, and the permeability is still good. So the membranes are working great. Working with Aqua Aerobics has been a pleasure. They've been great through the whole process. You know, whenever there's been an issue, um, it's, it's their focus. They're right on top of it. That's been huge for us, you know. I mean, that, that support is, because uh, this is new to all of us, this technology, and there's a lot going on out there. So it's, it's good to know that somebody is a phone call away, day or night, that's going to help you out. It's a, a newer technology in the United States, being one of the first installed and we get to have it right here in Montana, which is pretty cool. The community's kind of had a reputation for substandard water quality for a long time, and then and 30 years ago that might have been fair, but since then we've installed filtration plants for our big hole source and our molten source, but this plant was the final piece of the puzzle. Since this new plant has come online, uh, regulatory issues ha have ceased. 
And I really just think that, that we have the most durable, longest lasting, superior quality product. And I'm really excited about that. You know, I think it's the, the future of water plants is gonna be the examples right here in Butte.